What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, I am once more going to be checking out a band for the very first time. Which kind of blows my mind because I just recently found out that this band has like seven studio albums already and I've never heard them before. But I have heard their lead vocalist, Nils, on quite a few occasions, most often with Amaranth, a band that he is also a full-time member of. Now admittedly, I have been critical of his voice on Amaranth stuff. Not that I think it's bad, I just think it's kind of misplaced, it doesn't always fit in. But then I heard him do a guest spot on some of the new Ad Infinitum, and he honestly blew me away. And then a bunch of you guys told me that I need to check out Dynasty, which is his band that he's had long before Amaranth. So today, we're finally going to listen to it. Now, the song that we're checking out today is from their upcoming album. And while there's no set release date yet, it is scheduled to come out sometime in spring of 2022 from AFM Records. So if I like what we hear today, and we do another video in the future, when I have that release date information, I will be sure to include it in the next video. But let's just jump right into this one, man. I will link this original video in the description below. And today, for the very first time ever, I'm going to be listening to Dynasty and watching their brand new music video for their single, Advent. Let's go! Oh, group of 13. Dude, what a f***ing riff, man. I want to start all over again and actually watch and see what's going on. Dude, what a way to open a song. That wasn't the riff I was expecting from this little intro right here. I'll tell you what, man, ever since I've started this YouTube channel, or let's just say before I started it, I would have never really gotten into metal like this. Like, the stuff that was borderline power metal and stuff that was power metal, never really got into that kind of stuff until I started digging into more and more of these bands. And now I love it, man. And I'll tell you what, musically, it's fantastic. Nils's voice is absolutely awesome man and i love that i'm finally getting to hear him do something where it's just him instead of split between two other singers where he's the highlight he's the focus he's got a great voice man super powerful that was an awesome chorus and the music behind it was great this is going to be really easy on gear because we've pretty much seen everybody already but we'll break into that later i just want to hear more now
The vocal harmonies that are in there are really awesome too. Oh, that sounds really cool, but we're going to get into that in a minute. I also like the little synthy stuff that's in there too. Give it a nice little extra touch. This is great audio production, man. It sounds really good. Knowing these guys, who would this be? Uh, it could be Jonas Shelgren, or it could be Jacob Hansen. I bet it's Jacob Hansen. <laughs> I can usually hear his mixes pretty good at this point. It sounds good, man. Um... I love this video. I love how simple it is where they're just in that like long kind of industrial hallway. We've got the pyro going up and down the sides. I haven't specifically seen if there's any hoses running there because I was trying to figure out if it was gas or aerosol. It's definitely not liquid based flames. But if it's gas, they're just running propane hoses down to the flame heads that are there. If it's aerosol, which it probably could be. Hmm. I'm 50-50 on this one. It's gas or aerosol. It's definitely not liquid. But if it's aerosol, they could just place those heads and put little aerosol canisters into them. Um, they're very popular for music videos like this because you don't have to waste a lot. You just set them up, throw the cannon, good to go. But I like that we're getting shots on everybody, man. And I've seen everybody's instruments pretty well. One of the guitar players is definitely playing a Gibson Les Paul. One of the most popular guitars in the world. The only guitar that Gibson has that has outsold that one is the Gibson SG Standard, which was, of course, originally called the Les Paul SG, but Les Paul hated it and wanted his name removed from it. The other guitar player looks like he's playing a Les Paul design, but it's actually an ESP. I got a quick look at the headstock, and it looks like an ESP original. It's not like an E2 that's made in their Japanese factory or an LTD or anything like that. It does look like an ESP original Eclipse. And the Eclipse is actually kind of a copy of the Les Paul. So they both look really good together. I like the balance between the darker color on one and then the white one on the other. Um, the bass player is definitely playing a Spectre, but I can't tell exactly what model it is. Now, the line that it's from, definitely the NS. Um, Spectre has a few different lines. But their main series is called the NS, which is actually named after Ned Steinberger, who's a very famous luthier that was really accredited to coming up with the headless guitar and bass. Um, he was the first one that really started kind of making headless stringed instruments. Um, and he was actually the one that came up with the first design for Spectre basses. So that's why they call it the NS in honor of him. Um, it could be, I don't think it's a Euro. I think it might be a legend because the inlays are different than a lot of the normal specters, but this is that's gonna be one I'm gonna have to try and look into the best I can and find out exactly what model it is. Symbol-wise, I have not seen what the drummer is using, but I can definitely tell that the logo on his kick drum head is Mapex. But again, while I edit, I'll try and see if I can catch a quick look at symbols. We can figure out you know, what he's using there, but that's it for gear, man. That's it. That's pretty much all the breakdown so far in this video. Let's see what we get with this bridge because it sounded like it was gonna be really cool. New pyro. This is fantastic. We're going to lead back into that. That was a great stop and pause. That bridge was fantastic, man. I loved that it switched it up from that like melodic metal, power metal sound to more of almost a blues influence or like a like American Southern rock kind of feel. Great vibe. It really kept the groove of the whole thing rather than like deviating into more of a 
power metal section with a lot of solo stuff like that. This is fucking killer, man. <sighs> Oh, that was a great shot. There's your key change. I was wondering, or is it just going to stop, or are we going to go back into that headbanging part? This band kicks f***ing ass, man. Oh, now I have so much music to go back and listen to, and an album to look forward to sometime in spring, man. Um, let's go talk about it. That whooped ass, man. That was just f***ing metal, man. No cheap frills, just in-your-face metal the whole time. I absolutely loved it man and i know coming into this video especially in my intro the focus was kind of on nils because that's who i'm familiar with but the whole band was great man and everybody had moments to shine we had great riffs all around the guitar solos in the bridge we had some singled out drum fills that were going on where you can really get some good chops there and then we had that breakdown with the bass going into the bridge too and you really heard that tone and it was just huge and beefy man i love this i can't wait to listen to a lot more of this band man and i love that it was such a simplistic video and group of 13 who i spotted in the beginning is a big 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 time polish production house that works on a lot of different films and music videos and stuff they just did the recent amaranth video that i checked out on the channel they've got their hands in a lot of things and they always do a fantastic job even when it's just simple you had one hallway that the band was in no scene changes, little bits of pyro, and the lighting cues were great, man. This was fantastic all the way around. Definitely has me interested in pre-ordering this album whenever it becomes available. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that too. I know I did. Thank you very much for watching. And if this is your first time here, feel free to click subscribe. I release new reactions all the time. Subscribing is free, and it helps my channel out a ton. If you liked this reaction, I would greatly appreciate the like as that also helps. But if you didn't, no big deal, man. Thank you very much for your time. You are free to click dislike if you didn't like it. I'm also on a ton of different social media. I have a Discord server that a lot of us are hanging out on all the time. I have a Twitch where I stream everything from video games to live reactions, bass playing, guitar tech work. So if any of that stuff interests you, I will throw links to that in the description below. My handle on everything social media is at tank the tech. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.